Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial and in this video, actually the first thing I want you guys to do in this tutorial is go to your kitchen and grab a huge bucket of popcorn. And then after that go to your bedroom and grab the most comfortable blanket you can possibly find and then come back. Because once you have both those things, you're ready to hear the story, probably the greatest story I ever told. This story is called The Life of an Activity. So, you know, if you're an Android developer, this might be a pretty interesting story. Definitely pretty useful. It starts out like this. Every activity that you ever create is going to be a subclass of the special class that we didn't see yet called the activity class. So out there somewhere, there's this activity class and every activity that you create, we're going to inherit from. Now remember, whenever we inherit from something we get all of the cool methods from that class now if you're looking at this and you're like okay I can clearly see that main activity extends action bar activity and extends just means inherit of course you guys know so this is actually a subclass of action bar activity but you said that every activity that I create is gonna inherit from this activity class well even though you can't see it directly right here this action bar activity is inheriting from another class and that class is inheriting from activity. So this main activity that we just created is like fourth generation of the awesome activity class but I just want to mention that because if you guys are looking at all these methods you're not like, okay where did all these methods come from that I'm overriding well, you, well they came from that activity class and all this class is is it's pretty much a basic template that gives us a bunch of cool functions that we could use on whatever activities we create so that's the purpose of that so since we have all these cool functions let's talk about what they are and why we need them well every activity that you create it goes through a certain life cycle now the first thing that happens is it calls this method called onCreate so whenever the user first starts your app for the very first time and your activity is born it gets created now in this activity what you typically do is you set the layout of course that makes sense the very first thing you want to do is give the user a nice interface set up to look at now just a real quick overview and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this in detail in just a second but um, eventually whenever they close out of your app it's gonna call other methods like on destroy so whenever your app or excuse me whenever your activity is about to get destroyed or die um what you might want to do is do things like save their data for them so if they I don't know are playing a game or something you might want to save all of their settings so they can have it the next time they open your app so basically what I'm trying to say is each activity that you create it's going to go through many different stages in its life or many different states as it's more commonly referred to so in this tutorial that's what I'm going to be doing talking about every single state and the details of each so the first thing that you actually probably want to do is start your emulator because I know they kind of take a long time to boot up and we're actually going to be tweaking some of this code and changing some things so uh, yeah go ahead and do that now another thing I want to mention is this I'm going to be talking to you guys through each stage of your activities life and instead of just me explaining it and talking through I figured it would be a better idea to actually print something out on the screen every time the state of your activity changed so what we can do is we can actually import this cool class and this is another tip you guys are learning like two things in this tutorial bonus information um all right so if you go to android.util.log what this is 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 pretty much a package that lets us print out log information and all we're gonna do is we're gonna print out something on the bottom of the screen that says like um your activity is being created or something so that's all we're doing all right so once we have that imported go above all your methods and we're gonna make a new let me scroll down here we're going to make a new private static final string variable, not string, string, and I'm just going to name this tag. And it's good convention to name it tag, just because um, in the documentation for this, this is just what you do. And you, you guys are going to see what this does in a second. Well, I probably should talk you guys through this. So 
the purpose of this tutorial is talk to you guys about the different states of your activity. Now, by default, your emulator is going to be sending out a bunch of different messages pretty much when any event happens. And there's a lot of crap that happens on your phone, but we are only interested in these messages regarding states. So just to filter out um, the important messages, we're going to make a special tag and stick it on each activity. It's going to be called Bucky's message. You can actually name this anything you want because it's just like a unique identifier. Say only print out these log messages and not all the other crap that we don't care about. All right. So once we have that, what I want you to do is go down to on create right here and I'll show you guys how to add one of these log messages. So if you go log dot I, what you can do is you can throw in two parameters right here. The first parameter is your tag. So this is just Bucky's message and this is just for filtering out um, the important ones later on. Now after this is what do you want to print out on the screen and I'll just actually print out the state of this activity. So again, that's all these three lines of code do right here. And they're actually really helpful whenever you're trying to debug, debug something in your Android development process.